Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Crunchyroll and VRV. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So, the main difference between them is availability. Crunchyroll is available in more than 170 countries and regions. You can access it from anywhere and start watching your preferred content. However, content on Crunchyroll is geo-restricted, so what you find will depend entirely on your location. On the other hand, VRV is only accessible in the United States. Trying to access it from another country will display the unavailable message. Therefore, Crunchyroll is more accessible because it's available in many locations. Pricing Crunchyroll has a free version, though the viewer can only stream standard definition content with advertisements. It offers three subscriptions, the Fan Plan for $7.99 a month, the Mega Fan Plan for $9.99 a month, and the Ultimate Fan Plan for $14.99 a month. These subscriptions remove ads and give you simulcast access. On the flip side, VRV offers some of its content for free, though you are restricted to standard definition streaming with ads. You can take up a subscription of $9.99 a month for the Premium Plan. This will give you access to all the shows and remove ads. However, note that these are the current charges and are subject to change in the future. Therefore, Crunchyroll gives you a wider range of subscription plans to choose from. Content Crunchyroll only offers subtitled anime content in multiple languages. While VRV offers both subs and dubs, Crunchyroll focuses on anime and manga and is known for airing episodes an hour or so after they air in Japan. On the other hand, VRV has its cartoon channels, Hangover, and Mondo that produce in-house content. It also offers exclusive content, but most shows are from third parties. Some of the content by VRV are anime, cartoons, and gaming-related programming. Therefore, VRV content gives you a choice between dubbed and subbed content. But do they have any similarities? Both have mobile apps, and if you have a premium subscription, you can download content for offline viewing. However, you should check since not all titles are available for download. To sum up, which is better, Crunchyroll or VRV? I like Crunchyroll because of its wide availability, meaning you can easily access it anywhere. I also like that it has a couple of subscription plans, so you can pick the one that suits your needs. On the flip side, I like VRV because it has both subbed and dubbed content, so you can choose the one to watch. For these reasons, I choose Crunchyroll as the overall winner. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.